Welcome back to Dirty Water Coins and Collectibles. Tonight we have a mail call from a dog. So we had uh, some issues with the post office on this one. Kind of got forwarded to a different post office and it's, it's been around the world and back and it's got some damage to it, but I think everything's in there. I haven't opened it up yet. we still got tape. It's still heavy. Even though it's backwards heavy. Still heavy. So let's, uh, let me crack this open. See what we have inside. Be right back. All right, we got the side open. Looks like they're... Got some ATOGs. Here we go, baby. Thank you very much, buddy. I'll get into this. Got this little logo. Put that off to the side. Let's see what else we have in here. And we got some. I'm going to need two hands for this. Be right back. All right, in that box, I have 10 rolls of Philly, 10 rolls of Denver, 2024 Shield Sense. I cannot find them anywhere. Atog said that he had some for purchase. I'm not sure if anybody jumped on it, but I did. I asked him if he had 10 sets, and he did. So I have 10 sets of Philly, 10 sets of Denver's. For my collection, um, I may hunt a couple rolls, I'm not sure, but I do have four rolls of Denver's right here that were all um, reversed enders. So I'm going to crack one of these open and we'll hunt it live. See if we can't find any double deers, uh, DDRs in the United States of America, or the designer's initials. Potentially the date, or Liberty, or an Ingar we trust. I'm not sure. But uh, let me crack one of these rolls open. I'll get the tripod set up, and we'll be right back. All right, here's the roll cracked open. 2024 Denver. Let's... Uh, Let's get started. Let me set up my tripod here and my screen. I'll be right back. All right, this might be a long video just because I don't know what I'm looking for. And I'm not sure there's been a 2024 hunt yet. Well, that looks normal. No VDBV. Liberty looks normal. Not really a doubled ear. Is it united normal? I'm questioning it because it looks a little thicker, but I know that the Denver minted coins are typically thicker, as well as the designer's initials. And I'm not sure, I can't really tell the reflection um, I'm gonna go with that's a normal 2024 ender okay nothing there nothing there it's all normal that looks normal No die cracks. Okay. <clears throat> no. <clears throat> nope. Nope. Okay.
Looks like it could be a little die crack right there or damage. I'm not sure. I can't really get a good angle on it. That's damage. <clears throat> Take that back. Okay, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Negative, there's a die crack in the forehead. Okay. Die crack the top of the shield right there. Not seeing any doubling though. Nothing in the shield either. Okay. Tight crack in the forehead again. Looks like possibly in the cheek area too. Okay. Nothing there. Die chip on the top of the shield, right above the L of pluribus. Okay, same same die. <clears throat> nope. Nope. Not seeing the crack in the forehead there. This is different than the previous one. There's a little die chip above the L and the U right there. Not seeing any doubling, not in the initials. Not really seeing anything in the shield. Okay. We got some die cracks though, that's cool. cracks, no doubling, okay, not seeing anything, nope, nope, Die chip right there above the L and the U. United looks normal. It's normal. Okay. Die chip, no doubling. Nope. You can't tell on that ear. Almost. 
almost looks like there's an extra, doesn't it? There's an extra bit there. Let's bring her down. What do you think? There. That looks double, doesn't it? I think that's a double ear. I can't tell. I'm going to say double ear. Now that I brought that down a little closer, let's check the other ones. Like I said, this could be it could be a longer video. And see, I'm not seeing that extension. Uh, I could just be shadowing. I can't tell. These I'm just uh, checking the older ones that we've already checked. See if I can't find something that looks similar to. I think that one looks similar to the one that I have held aside. Right? Let's see if there is. Not really a die marker on the back. So I'm going to put those two together for right now. Yeah, see, I don't know. That has the crack. Those look like that one. I can't really tell. That looks like it could just be a reflection. That one could just be a reflection. I can't tell. So much shine. There's a little bit of the die crack on that one. I really don't know. In a certain light, it looks like it could be. And then you remove it like that doesn't. And then that does, kind of. So, I don't know. Let me check these, these other two that I put aside here. Doesn't. And does. It completely changes through the light. So, I'm not going to hold those aside as double dies. Let me know what you think in the comments. I think that's just lighting effects. I go back to back like that. It looks like it there. I'm going to go with no on those. I think that would be too many to be in one roll. Next. No. That could be a little bit. The left side of the Y looks thicker. Right. Looks just like reflection.
to pull back a little bit. Let me get the uh, pull back a wee little. Okay. Nada, nada, nada. Okay. No. 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 Negative. Hey, Tug, if you watch this, have you hunted any of your rolls? I don't remember seeing any 2024 hunts. If you do watch it, let me know down in the comments if you've hunted... Uh, a Denver roll, a Philly roll, or both rolls. We got that die crack above the L and the U. Not seeing much else. <clears throat> nope. Die crack above the L and the U. Looks like a little bit above the N as well, maybe right there. Let's check that previous one. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't have it above the N. Okay. out of the ordinary there. <clears throat> nope. Hoping to find a DDR. So I have a 2022 DDR, a 2023 DDR, 
2024 DDR would be pretty cool to find. I don't have any 2022 Denver DDRs. I'm not sure if there's a 2023 Denver DDR as of yet. It would be cool to have a 2024 Denver. I'm looking for United States of America to be doubled. That's what I'd really like to find. Definitely an obverse. A DDO would be cool. But finding pretty much anything on a Denver coin is very difficult. See it there. <clears throat> About halfway through the roll. Die crack in the forehead. I don't think that'll be much of anything. Die crack kind of above the L and the P. Nothing. Okay. Crack in the forehead. Not seeing much of anything <clears throat> on the Denver's. And I really don't know if I want to open any of the Phillies. I mean, the die crack in the shield is kind of cool. It'd be nice to find a larger one. seeing much and again that was I mean I was expecting to not find anything in the Denver roll maybe a double deer possibly a DDR in in God we trust or the designers initials or both but Not much of anything else, but you never know. You won't know unless you look. So we look, looking for clashing. Um, off centers, misaligned. We're looking for all kinds of stuff. Strike through. I love my strike throughs. I 
Nada. I don't know if any. What's that? It's just dirt. I was looking at the E. I thought that was a big die chip. Um, if any of you are familiar with the 2018 strike through reverse on the shield scent, still looking for that one. I have almost a whole box of 2018 shield scents and a whole box, almost a whole box of 2017 shield scents, both fillies. On occasion, I'll pull a roll out and hunt them. There's a cool UFO on the 2017 that I look for. Actually, this bar right here comes down into about the N on the UFO that I look for is Clash Dies, but I really want to find that 2018 um, strike through. I just don't know if it was dropped in this area because I haven't found one roll hunting. You would think that if it was dropped in this area that I probably would have found one by now. Kind of like the 2014 DDO. I have not found one of those. 2011. There's some 2013s. Uh, DDO and DDRs. 2013 has a nice DDR. have not found any of those. My main finds for the shield sense are... are some of the 2023s now, the DDR. I found a couple of the 2022 DDRs. The 2019s have just about fallen off the face of the earth for me. I did find one the other day. But before that, it was probably close to a year before I found one. So the main nice DDO that I typically have luck finding still... Is that just a dark spot over the um, die crack? I think so. Um, is the 2015, I think it's DDO number six on Wexler's, is the one that I still can find. But that's pretty much it. Every now and then, like a 16. DDO, I would like to find still the 2019 uh, Thick Liberty. I'm not sure I have one of those in my collection. The 2021s have a good amount of the Liberty doubling. And I have four boxes of 2021 Shield Sense that I haven't really had time to go through. I think I have two boxes of 2022s. Those don't really have much, so to speak, to look for. Um, so yeah, that's what I typically find is that 2015 and then some minor double-dyed shields um, <clears throat> but I still like to look for them. There are some nice double dies. I want that 2011. I want the 2014. There's actually two 2014s. I want the die chip in the four. I actually bought one of those. And then the other one that's scarce. I don't know what number it is. I'm looking for both. I'd like to roll hunt, roll find both of those. Like I said, I did purchase one. It's in pretty decent condition. Um, it's a red condition. But I'd like to find one roll hunting. That would be exciting. But maybe one day. Who knows? Right, we're coming down to the end. I have maybe about 10 coins left. Not seeing anything in this roll. 
I'm just happy to have some 2024s. Man, it has been brutal. Thank you again, Atog, for actually wanting to sell some or just getting rid of some. Maybe you didn't want to, but um, thank you for mentioning it in one of your videos because I'm not sure I'm going to find any here. And if by the time I do, oh, you never know. I mean, it could be a couple years later, like I found those 2021s. But at that point, it'll be on to the next. You know, 2025 will be out. People will be hunting those. <clears throat> worst comes to worst, I can take one of these and put it in my album. I did find one 2024 Philly in my register at work, which I was surprised. Just one. I have not found one since. That was maybe two, three weeks ago. But I have a lot of stuff to hunt. Just got a couple of rolls in yesterday. Uh, that video at this point has already posted. One roll was an 84, at least that's what it said. And the other roll looks like uncirculated wheats, <clears throat> but it's a wheat reverse on both ends. The roll is not marked. So as of right now, I do not know what's in that roll. You know, die crack above the eyebrow there, right up into the forehead. Die chip above P and L. It's really all I'm seeing on these is like a forehead and then a die chip above the shield. The top of the shield. Above E pluribus is a different die chip, die crack in the forehead. Different shape. Not seeing a die. It could be a little bit above EP. Just right to the tip of the L. It could be a die crack there. Not seeing much else. Okay. Looking at something under his throat. I don't know what that is right there. You can see it and then it disappears. I'm not sure what that is. But I'm not really seeing much else other than that mark appear and then disappear right there. I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. I don't see any signs of clashing. Okay. Nope. 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 I think this is the other ender coin here. Yeah, I don't see anything there. Tight chip. All right. Well, that's all she wrote, folks. I hope you enjoyed that hunt. Again, like I said, I haven't really seen any 2024 hunts yet. Um, so this may have been your first. This was my 21st 2024 hunt. Uh, I don't really get Denver's all that often. So it's pretty cool. We have a few rolls to put into my collection. That almost looks like a little bit of a strike through right here. You see that? Bring it over. Yeah, right there. A little bit of a strike through. Um, so yeah, 
I hope you enjoyed this hunt. It's your first time watching my channel and you enjoyed the content. I know this was a long video, but I had to see if there was anything that I haven't seen before. Um, if you enjoyed the content and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. If you choose to do so, please hit that notification bell so you get notified on all of my upcoming videos. And please be sure to hit that like button. It's right down on the lower left-hand corner there. It really does help out the channel. Um, make its way through YouTube's algorithm to reach viewers like yourself. I want to thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you on the next one.